It is not uncommon to see comments like these all over the net, and you've surely heard it a thousand times before. Africans live in mud huts, uttered as if it is supposed to be an insult. The very image of a primitive society that has invented little, contributed little, and as such it is used as a justification for hatred. But what if I told you that building in mud is actually the future, and it's already happening in places like California? I like to call them smart ecolodge, and they turn out to be nothing but a pure architectural, material, and ecological ingenious tradition in building. In a previous episode, we saw how building traditions from ancient Egypt Kemet, used in the pyramids and Narmer mortuary complex, all shared a common trait. The fact that Africans manufactured a form of brick or stone, which is then used like a Lego piece, with locally sourced material. The Egyptians had multiple types of these stone-like blocks. Today, we will see how this building technique can still be found all over Africa, and how building using mud bricks gave Africans' dwellings the following properties. Natural thermal insulant, economical, environmentally friendly, fire resistant, durability, and aesthetics. We will also cover the science behind each of these attributes. Look at you, just look at you. You haven't even clicked the like button yet and you have not even subscribed. Shame, Shame. on you. The misconception and negative perception of mud brick constructions have caused them to fall in disfavor by the public at large. So much so that many of the incredible mud constructions worldwide have gone unnoticed. Mud constructions have existed everywhere in the world, not just in Africa. But because they were extensively used in Africa, they fell victim to the 18th and 19th century romanticism sweep that painted everything of African origin as backwards. Traditional mud bricks and mud walls are made of various mixtures of clay, sand, straw, and water. The proportions greatly affect the properties of the brick or structure. Once formed, the bricks and walls are then sunbaked into solidity. But can they be made as strong as traditional buildings? In her 2022 paper, Merida Joy shows that modern mud material can obtain a compression strength that far exceeds the requirement of today's building standard. However, they require significantly less energy to produce and thus contribute far less to CO2 emissions. Buildings like the Desert Cultural Center in Canada and the Banasura Resort in India show that mud buildings can be strong and stylish. Conical mud constructions like these ones in Sudan and Nigeria have been built for centuries and sometimes thousands of years. They have fallen out of favor in the last century, primarily due to the use of concrete and cement. According to ZKG.de in 2020, Africa had produced 386 metric tons of cement. But cement blocks aside from their durability have a few disadvantages when it comes to building in a tropical place like Africa. They are terrible at thermal insulation, and their material isn't always available locally. Mud bricks and mud walls, however, excel at thermal insulation. A 2021 study by the Ethiopian Department of Architecture shows that traditional mud-built homes considerably cools the micro-environment compared to modern-built homes. This thermal satisfaction graph shows it well. What's even more interesting is seeing how traditional mud-built structures keep overall temperatures within comfortable ranges for both heat and cold. And all this without cooling or heating equipment. As always, I'll leave the links to the sources in the description below. In their 2021 paper, Mishra Subhash and Himanshu Rai showed that mud insulation applied to a standard house can save up to 576 kWh of energy in a year. That's 35% of its total yearly energy consumption. And note that this is using a post-construction insulation coating. When the whole house is made of mud walls, it stays even cooler under the scorching hot equatorial sun. 
If you've ever stayed in a concrete house that doesn't have air conditioning in a hot summer day, then you know what I am talking about. You can feel the heat radiating from the walls, but mud walls would in fact cool the interior of the house. And if you add to the cooling properties of a conical-shaped structure, there is no need for AC. So our ancestors in Africa had invented air conditioning that is ecologically friendly and very easy to make. Oh, and it doesn't catch fire, unlike wood. Large parts of Africa, south of the Sahara, are savannas with dry and fire-prone environments. So it is preferable to use a material that doesn't catch fire. This was tested by researcher Michael Barato at the University of California, where they are testing mud properties of mud structures to build fire-resistant homes. In their test at 3,500 degrees, the mud-built structures didn't catch fire, unlike the wooden ones. Their hope is that it helps combat property loss and fire spread in the California Valley. Also note that wood is not always available in some areas of Africa. So wood didn't always make sense as a building material. However, where wood was plentiful, Africans made superb use of it. Look at the architecture of the Benin place and the Bamum from Cameroon. Wood was also used to reinforce structures where logical, like in the famous Mosque of Jenna. Building in stone requires significantly more labor. It also implies that the structure being built is more permanent. And for a city that evolves quickly, this isn't always optimal. One version of earth-based bricks that is now taking Africa by storm are the clay bricks. They share similar advantages to mud bricks, but they are much stronger than concrete bricks. Clay bricks can withstand 10,000 PSI, while concrete bricks top at 4,000. Clay bricks also have a much lower rate of absorption compared to concrete bricks. So in heavy rainfall, they would retain two to three times less water. Clay bricks are also more durable. They can last up to 1,000 years, compared to 80 years for concrete bricks. Clay bricks are also excellent at thermal and sound insulation, and the wide availability of clay on the African continent makes it an environmentally and economically sound material. But traditional mud paste, used to build mud walls, can be reinforced with still available local material. Improvements in mud walls have led to a final product that is much more durable than medieval and pre-colonial mud. As these studies show, significant structural strength and thermal conductivity reduction can be obtained with very little ingredient adjustment or additions. More and more architects and designers in Africa are choosing mud as a construction material to create stronger buildings, showing the versatility and aesthetic of the material, in addition to its long list of benefits. Just like Senegalese architect Atelier Co, who designs and builds modern houses made of mud. or like these ultra-chic houses built of mud. Here are more fabulous examples of both modern and traditional mud buildings in Africa.
So next time someone goes out of their way to try and say that building out of mud is primitive, you know where to send them. Let me know in the comment what you think of mud construction building. Don't forget to share this video to a few people who may benefit from knowing more about African historical perspective. Join us and see how those who are said to be without history birthed civilization itself. Huge thank you to all of our members on YouTube, Patreon, and Buy Me A Coffee. Your support helps keeps this channel independent. 